There are five methods of disposal of e-waste. 1. Landfilling. It is a widely used method for the disposal of e-waste. In this method, trenches are made on the flat surfaces by removing soil from the trenches and waste material is buried in it, which is covered by a thick layer of soil. Secure landfill is made using modern technique. Here they are provided with some facilities like, impervious liner made up of plastic or clay, leachate collection basin that collects and transfer the leachate to wastewater treatment plant. The degradation processes in landfills are very complicated and run over a wide time span and can be many years. 2. Incineration. In this controlled and complete combustion process, the waste material is burned in specially designed incinerators at a high temperature, 900 to 1000 degrees Celsius. Advantage of incineration of e-waste is the reduction of waste volume and the utilization of the energy content of combustible materials. In this method some environmentally hazardous organic substances are converted into less hazardous compounds. 3. Acid Baths SID bath method is used to extract copper, here the circuit board is submerged into sulfuric acid roar about 12 hours to dissolve copper then solution is boiled. Precipitated copper sulfate is taken and remaining soluto 1s added with scraped particles, subsequently copper smudges are removed. Acid baths also used to dilso the lead and in the extraction of gold and silver. 4. Recycling of e-waste. Recycling involves dismantling removal of different parts of e-waste containing dangerous substances like PCB, HG, separation of plastic, removal of CRT, segregation of ferrous and non-ferrous metals and printed boards. Five. Reuse. It is commonly used for electronic equipment like computers, cell phones, etc. Inkjet cartridge is also used after refilling. Old working computers can be donated to schools or organization working in the field of education. Computers beyond repairs can be returned back to the manufacturers. This method also reduces the volume of e-waste generation. The better option is to avoid its generation. To achieve this, buyback of old electronic equipment shall be made mandatory.